the topic of my presentation is uh, about uh, a, a dissertation work of my um, doctor in professional practice uh, degree in Middlesex University. So um, the topic that I am going to do uh, my research is a brand of fantasies of luxury product exploring the relationship between consumer and brand in a shopping online environment. Okay, so I will go through this uh, from the motivation to contact and research questions and the research methodology and data analysis. Um, as we know, uh, luxury product is now, luxury business is facing a challenge um, uh, from the um, um, social media uh, adopted by the worldwide uh, consumer rapidly during these 10 years. So the practice of brand management uh, is uh, facing a dilemma as consumer is now questing for more uh, information and more authority uh, over the internet when they are going to seeking their product. So uh, the brand of fantasy, of fantasy uh, that used to have in the offline environment is now um, having some changes in the eyes of the consumer. So uh, as I am a practitioner in this area for uh, the last decade, so I uh, can feel uh, the uh, difficulty of the uh, famous brands that um, they, are, they are not very good to adapt to the online environment and they don't want to lose their authenticity, particularly in the Chinese market. So the context uh, that I would like to set uh, regarding the problem that I just discussed is, so you can see from, the, uh, from this uh, diagram, this picture, so the brand is used to offer uh, the authenticity, to offer their uniqueness and their image to the customer. So the customer is used to accept when they are in shopping offline. So they, are, um, they can feel all the uh, offering, all the feature of the brand in the shop, in the street, in the counter. But now they are questing for more in the internet as they want to, they have the freedom and they have the power to surf in the internet and they can discuss with each and other with their peers. So the old model is offering um, is very high and the questing from the customer is very low. But now the offering is try to be high, but it's being challenged by the customer and their questing is higher and higher uh, in the, over the internet by them. So, the brand as an institute in the diagram in the right hand side is actually composed by a lot of business executive and they are the practitioner. So the, a brand is not exist without them and they are going to um, collectively to manage the brand culture and trying to convey to the customer as a whole. However, in the, uh, over the internet, in the social media particularly, uh, they have to interact uh, to the uh, customer, okay? And they cannot, uh, just like before, hiding themselves behind the brand image and to interact with the customer based on the entire brand image. So my research question is, how does the ruling practice of luxury brand management on its executive and consumer be affected and be changed by this online shopping environment? In such is, the practice of luxury brand management uh, of the executive has to be changed and they have to learn uh, how to face the change. So much research is basically trying to uh, understand uh, how they're going to perceive the change and they are, how they are going to learn uh, to adapt to the change. My research uh, go on and then to find out that based on the diagrams I just uh, depicted, that actually uh, the role-based effect of brand executive on the online in order to uh, continue their offering in the operation process as a brand is uh, now being more uh, emphasized uh, as a focus uh, on their management. So um, uh, 
The brand, particularly the luxury brand, is used to adopt the ruling culture. So they would try, always trying to override the customer on uh, conveying their image and in the, all the communication process. The aim and the second aim is to add, explore the authenticity problem between the uh, brand and consumer, okay, between their relationship. So what's the problem actually exists? So uh, my perspective is, uh, is on the uh, brand culture management. And um, I want to know how they are going to perceive the problem. So based on the above, if the research can be success, then a new practice on management on this uh, uh, online uh, branding uh, management, culture management. My uh, research is basically uh, trying to understand the concept of role of the brand executive, customer relationships, how, how are they going to aware their role change, how are they going to recognize their role change, and how are they going to verify uh, the process of, uh, 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 of the luxury management as a brand executive. And the perceived authenticity uh, by the consumer is now changed. So uh, I am trying to observe and explain the situation of the process and trying to carry out a self or fantasy study because I am a practitioner before and I'm in the industry for, for a decade. So I am a practitioner. So I always uh, have a reflections uh, on uh, what I'm doing and I have a lot of uh, self reflexivity of my discomfort area uh, regarding the context. So I would like to uh, add, use the self-reflectivity re of discomfort and trying to use this uh, to carry out an auto anography as the entry level data for my uh, next level of study uh, that uh, the study will explore the relationship on the institutional anography, anography level. So these are the details of the uh, sub-questions. Uh, the first is, what is the nature of the relationship between the brand and customer? So um, in the uh, new shopping environment, what is the relationship between my authenticity self and the brand and as institutes? Objectively is, how is my authenticity itself working in the institute with the culture and executive of the luxury brand? What is the impact to the consumer online? And the final objective is, how is the authenticity self of other executive working in brand institute with the ruling culture? And what is the impact to the consumer online? So my, the significance of my research is this is a export, exploratory work and on a workspace nature. So, uh, the research paradigm uh, is uh, set uh, based upon my working experience as a workspace research uh, approach. So I would like to fill the gap of knowledge between the consumer behavior by providing a new perspective of luxury brands from the perspective of luxury brand culture management uh, in handling the purchasing process. And I would like to uh, inform the practitioners if I success uh, of my research result. So authenticity is always a key word in the uh, mind and uh, in the communication of a lot of luxury brands. Uh, luxury. Hello. Yes. Uh, can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, please. Okay, sorry. So uh, a lot of, uh, of uh, luxury brand uh, executives always think that uh, what is meant by luxury and what is meant by authenticity of luxury is based on uh, the design, the innovations, the craftsmanship and the material of their product. and and they would like to communicate to the customer uh, in terms of this and to define the authenticities of their brand. 
according to the dimensions uh, listed here, awareness and bias processing behavior and related orientation. And they make up their story and try to convey it uh, based on the product features. However, because of the um, brand consumer uh, relationship change uh, from the offline model to the online model, so the, actually the consumer is now having a big power because they are doing the socialization, adaptation, and internalization process. And they are going to play a very big role in managing the relationship. And this is largely a job of them now. So uh, particularly the young generation, for example, the context I'm going to study is about China and they are um, uh, uh, the new rich and they directly go to the online shopping environment. So uh, I have some uh, literature review regarding all these changes. So uh, the socialization and sociability of brand building as a process of a stakeholder collective are uh, also discussed by Dirada and Quinton and other. So the road of consumer and the ability in dealing with the dynamic process um, in the in before is uh, uh, pinpointed to the uh, process as a static as a static environment, but now it's a dynamic environment. So a lot of uh, research is uh, going to study from the consumer side of that. Uh, the now the brand and the uh, the brand is actually a co-creation, a result of the consumer and the um, supplier. So my literature reviewed also find that uh, actually a lot of uh, co-creation process involve the concept of road management, and also find that there is a lot of drama effect, and they are going to act in uh, according to the role that recognized particularly when the brand is going to uh, communicate with the consumer based on the storytelling uh, practice. So uh, the strategy of narrative policy framework, and I found it's relevant uh, because it's talking about how the brand are going to uh, set their story, their plot, uh, and the character, and how they're going to communicate to the consumer in various means. And also they are trying to do it through the online uh, platform too. So what is missing in the late literature, and actually I found most of the literature, almost uh, all the literature is from the consumer perspective and trying to figure out how consumer perceive the authenticity and luxuries uh, in the online uh, uh, perspective, in the online environment. But uh, I can't find any uh, from the practice-based approach and from the perspective of the brand executive uh, perspective and the culture perspective. So my uh, research would like to contribute uh, on the social psych psychological perspective in order to understand the changing nature and the latest nature of their relationship in the online shopping environment. So basically, uh, authenticity is always another word for the ruling culture of luxury brand. Actually, they would like to match the authenticity that they want to have uh, to the perceived authenticity of the customer by setting the road or, uh, between them and trying to let the consumer to learn uh, all this uh, through the storytelling and the policy uh, framework of the brand. But now the brand actually is going to uh, take the step to learn again regarding the, the role change and how are they going to manage the policy framework. So this is my research design. So based on my um, uh, own experience and practitioner's uh, perspective and my reflectivity works, so I set the research in two levels. That is the first one is autoethnography and the other one is institu institutional ethnography. So the data collections, and I perceived myself as a source of data and um, uh, to uh, drill uh, the discomfort area uh, and the reflectivity of this discomfort, com discomfort in order to um, objectively uh, provide a framework if, uh, of data set uh, to the second level analysis. And uh, 
this uh, this uh, this, this is the ethical consideration. consideration. So that's so that's all for my.